My name's Claire Roberts and I work for GAP Personnel. I've worked here for 19 years and I'm the HR manager. I'm responsible for implementing and managing the HR functions, including employee engagement and training and development. We've engaged with apprenticeships since GAP Personnel was founded. However, when the levy was introduced in 2017, we were equally on board. When you leave school, it's difficult to know what career you want to choose, and apprenticeships give you the opportunity to experience a workplace while continuing to gain your qualification. In addition to supporting new starters in their role, we have developed two programmes that combine the apprenticeship with bespoke learning. Our MDP, Management Development Programme, and our EDP, Executive Development Programme, offer bespoke training workshops in support of Level 3 and Level 5 management qualifications through apprenticeships. We've had people that have joined the business with very little experience or those that maybe have a degree but in a different field and when they've noticed that the job role offers the support of an apprenticeship it's given them confidence to apply. We need to change the perception of apprenticeships with a combined approach of the support of the apprenticeship the commitment from the learner and the coaching and mentoring from the manager. We've seen here at GAP Personnel that individuals can secure themselves really key roles within the business. My advice to other companies would be, if you've not previously engaged with apprenticeships, try it. Highlight a job role, pilot an apprenticeship and build from there. We're cross-border, so we did have concerns with the differing approaches between England and Wales. However, we've been able to make the two approaches work so that the learners have continuity and the offering is uniformed within the business. My advice is to engage with an apprenticeship provider. Already in the last two years, we've seen a huge improvement in the understanding from providers of business challenges. 